This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 8 starts now. Now at 8. He's been doing things that are absolutely horrific. I just can't believe that's happening in our little town. A former employee at a preschool camp facing new charges tonight after police say he may have molested at least three children in his care. There is new information tonight about a daycare worker accused of molesting young children, 20-year-old Nicholas Lermany of Morgan Hill. He has worked for a YMCA in Morgan Hill for about four years. Authorities added new charges today. He's now accused of sexually abusing four children, ranging in age from 5 to 17. As Cron Forest Teresa Astacio reports, police say in some cases he took photos of the children after he violated them. Here in Morgan Hill, this is the YMCA that is at the center of this case. YMCA officials tell Cron4 News that it is against policy to ever allow a daycare worker, male or female, to be alone with a child, but that allegedly happened several times in this case. Officials tell Cron4 News that they are devastated about what has happened for several reasons. We have multiple policies that are all designed to prohibit this type of exposure, and so consequently, we are going to evaluate where something went amiss. Elizabeth Jordan is the chief operating officer for the YMCA. She says that they are cooperating fully with investigators as they search for more potential victims. Cron4 News has learned that Laramie not only was a daycare worker, but also a soccer coach. He could have come in contact with a lot of kids. He potentially could have. What we're doing now is we've run rosters of all the programs for which he was assigned as a staff person. Jordan says that this case has been difficult to deal with. The entire staff has known Laramie for a long time. Plus, his mother works for YMCA in the administration department. She is currently on leave because of her son's arrest. So when he came to work for you before, you guys did a background check, right? Absolutely. He was a participant in our programs as a, as a child. And when he became eligible to work, we cleared him through the Department of Justice as well as the FBI. He also has received solid employee evaluations. And he was really loved by a lot of the parents in this community. So he was here as a child. So you guys have known him for a long time. We've known him for a long time. This must be heartbreaking then, personally and professionally. It's hard on everyone involved. Jordan says that they have hired an independent investigator who was on campus on Tuesday evaluating their policies from top to bottom. In addition, they say that they handed out flyers to all parents to make sure that they know what counseling services that they are going to be offering for victims and their families. Families. Investigators plan to continue to interview children to see if there are potentially more victims out there. In Morgan Hill, Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.